Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 44, Dune by Frank Herbert. Okay, so the very beginning of this book review starts off saying that in early November, I wrote a blog post. Uh, And so I posted this book review on my website, dandandtheartman.com, on Friday, December 6th, 2013. So in early November of 2013 is what I'm referring to. All right, let's start this review. In early November, I wrote a blog post titled, I'm Reading Dune, in which I described being incredibly bored by the book and putting it down three separate times, but then picking it up to give it one last shot and really enjoying it from that point on. I have to say that for the rest of the novel, I really enjoyed it. The story kept moving at a brisker pace, Tons of really awesome action and fight scenes took place. The characters grew in amazing ways. It was a spectacle to behold and an epic story to enjoy as it all unfolded. A rich, deep world filled with very different kinds of characters, all with their own conflicting traditions. Much of this affects the main character, Paul, as he grows from boy to man. I really enjoyed seeing him grow into a full-on man's man, a great leader, an awesome warrior, and his role as son grew very interesting as well. So let me just say that I had given up on this book and was bored out of my mind reading it at first, but I kept going, and I'm so glad I did. If you've ever tried reading this book and couldn't get past the huge info dumping and people sitting in rooms talking of the mythology, religions, politics, worlds, and prophecies. Pick it up again and keep reading. I promise it gets better. I'm interested to see now that I know what the heck is going on, what I will pick up on with a second read. I'm taking a break to finish and start a heap of other books, but someday... I'd like to reread this epic beast and see what I can glean anew from that dense block of a beginning Frank Herbert penned as Act One of his first installment in this Dune universe. I also want to go on and read the other books in the series at some point. Wow. I have to say that One thing that probably helped me get through this book was many friends who told me how amazing it was, and so I just kept giving it another try. But also, for as dull as the first act of Dune was to me, I was was reading it by listening to the audiobook, and the audiobook is pretty amazing. Which is why I have some awesome news for you guys. For you, the listener of this podcast, Audible is offering a free download, a free 30-day trial of their service, and you get a free audiobook that you get to keep forever just for checking out their service. If you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a copy of Dune by Frank Herbert for free. And you can choose any audiobook of your choice But this week, I'm recommending Dune. It's a bit of a trek, but it's a rewarding one. Kind of like when I finally finished The Lord of the Rings. There were some parts in there that were super boring to me. I know it's a beloved classic, and I love The Hobbit, and I've read The Hobbit multiple times. But when I finally did get to the end of The Lord of the Rings, it was really rewarding. So if you can just get through the first act of Dune, like that first 25% of the story, I think that you will be very rewarded as I was. So 
if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free copy of the audiobook of Dune, written by Frank Herbert, narrated by a whole plethora of awesome narrators. Scott Brick, who's one of my favorites, forgive me for pronouncing these incorrectly, but Orlag Cassidy, Yuan Morton, Simon Vance. If you haven't heard Simon Vance's amazingly wonderful British voice, <laughs> You're really missing out. And Ileana Kadushin. So anyway, tons of very talented and amazing voices to listen to. Check out Dune by Frank Herbert. And let's get back to that review. Okay, so man, I, I remember um, when I was in college going to the Art Institute of Seattle. I had a friend and... He had, like, just finished Dune, and I don't think it was his first reading of the book, but I think he talked about it for, like, the better part of a week. He was just blown away by the fact that Frank Herbert could create such a rich world. And ever since I heard him talking about that, I had wanted to read Dune, but uh, I like I said I think I tried reading it three times and just gave up every time because I had heard my friend rave about this book I soldiered on and I picked it up a fourth time determined to try my hardest to get through it <laughs> and lucky for me uh, that fourth time was like after listening to most of the beginning of the book just a few days earlier so I didn't have to start it all over again from the beginning like I had all of the other times and so that time just as I had picked it up for the fourth time and continued the story where I had left off the story really picked up I don't want to spoil anything but yeah someone's life was threatened and then there's a whole bunch of action no more talking heads sitting in a room it was awesome and then the rest of the book didn't keep that pace but I never got super bored again after that point in the story so I just had to get to that one point and then the rest of the book was amazing and really rewarding um, the culture and the characters in the book are so well done and so richly rendered, like, you can just tell that he really thought about his world building, and the characters live on a, on a planet that's just so different from our own, and the, the way that they live their lives and the things that are valuable to them and their society all kind of stem from the different planets they live on and resources those planets give like the big huge desert planet gives a certain kind of spice and it's like a drug and also there are these huge sandworms that eventually people can learn how to ride instead of just being murdered by them <laughs> these huge terrifying um, sandworms just google dune sandworm and I'm sure that you'll see an awesome illustration or at least a photo from the uh, still from the movie but yeah uh, pretty cool fantasy adventure story when you get to read people riding ginormous worms through the desert <laughs> also there's a lot of really cool magic in this book and um, so check it out um, cool technology too it's, it's a bit of its own chestnut. Dune is all its, its own story. It's like nothing I've ever read before. And so, even if you find the first bit of the story really challenging like I did, I mean, I seriously put the book down three times because I was so bored. I couldn't stand to read another sentence. Then I finally got to the part that was exciting to me, and the rest of it was history. So check out Dune by Frank Herbert. It might be a challenging read, but I really think it will be a rewarding one for you. 
and I'm sure lots of your other friends who like to read sci-fi or fantasy have read it, so ask them about it too. It's a cool book that you can talk about a lot with other people who've read it. All right. Well, that's all I've got for you guys this week. I hope you've had a wonderful week, and I hope that you'll have another great week full of reading. It's been a fun week for me. I got to see my kids in a play. This is their last week of school, so summer break is upon us. And uh, summer means lots of time for reading. So if you're looking for a great book to read this summer, check out this podcast and listen to other great book reviews. Hopefully I'll steer you in the direction of a wonderful book that you'll really enjoy reading. So make that summer reading list and get to it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.